Hey everyone, happy Sunday. Um, didn't announce I was going to do a Facebook Live, but I had a couple of minutes and I just wanted to jump on and um, have a play with those so eclectic. I uh, went to a um, team fun day yesterday. So one of the great things about being a Stamping Up demonstrator is that I'm actually part of a larger team and I'm part of the Ink Credibles. Haha, <laughs> Ink Credibles, yep, I N K. And um, it's a pretty large team. And um, our team leader, lovely Kim, um, puts on some awesome fun days. So this one was for the new annual catalogue that starts next month. So we had to play with a whole bunch of some new stuff. So I've been a bit quiet the last week on Facebook because. Um, I was actually helping her do some of the stuff for that. So um, I've had a play with some awesome new products. So I'm going to be showing them um, coming soon. Um, you can't buy them yet. So I didn't want to jump the gun and show you too much too early. So um, I am going to have a, a launch for all my customers who would like to come along. Um, I haven't just booked in the venue yet, but it will be the end of June. So as soon as I get that book, I will let you guys know so you can come along and play with some new products um but one of the things that we do at their fun days is do a swap um so basically everyone creates a card and creates a bunch of that one card and then swaps with other people and you end up with a whole bunch of different cards and it's just really fun and exciting and chance to get a whole bunch of um ideas and to look at stuff and have cards that from sets that you don't own and it's just really fun so we got to use anything we wanted that was going to be current as of the next catalog so that's some of the stuff in the current catalog and some of the new stuff so i decided um i would actually play with oh so eclectic um simply because i love the set and i have used it but I don't think I've used it enough, but I'm really happy that it's sticking around for at least another year. Um, so I just wanted to show you a card that I did and it's really quick and simple, um, but it's really effective, I think, and pretty. So let me show you. Now I don't have one to show you because I thought I kept one of the ones that I did, um, but I didn't <laughs> and I swapped them all. So um, yeah, I don't have any left. So, um, <laughs> Basically, I've got some Berry Burst uh, cardstock and I've got some Whisper White. Now, I wrote down the measurements because I've had people asking me for the measurements after I've done other Facebook Lives and I haven't given you measurements. So, this one's uh, nine and a half centimetres by 13 and a half. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> nine and a half centimetres by 13 and a half centimetres. And then another piece of white. This one's at six and a half by five centimetres and another piece of berry burst at seven by five and a half. So that's just half a centimetre bigger than the white. Okay, now that I've got that out of the way, that's the hard part, actually giving you proper directions of measurements. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to use my Memento. Um, I always say memento, so I've got to get used to saying memento. <laughs> and I'm just using the um, flower. I should tell you the ones I'm using. So I'm going to use this flower here, and then I'm going to use this bit here, which gives you a little watercolored sort of effect under here. And I'm going to use the leaf, and I'm going to use one of these little dotty bits. So I'm just going to ink up that flower in the black. I'm just going to put one over on this side and oh, one down a bit here. Then I'll put my black away so I do not get my fingers in it. With my um, watercolory background thing here, it already gives you a watercolored effect. So if I ink this up and stamp it, it's going to give you a bit of a watercolor effect. But I wanted a bit more of <laughs> a watercolor effect. So I'm going to use my markers and spritzes. So I've got Berry Burst and I've got Crushed Curry. That's because I thought the yellow and the pink look really awesome together. And I'm just going to 
do some of that across the top. And it's not real perfect, it's just a bit across the top. <laughs> and then I can see, it's probably hard to see on the screen, but I can see where that ink is on here. So I'm just going to colour in the rest of it in very burst. And then I'm going to have a bit of water, just water in my spritzer. And I'm going to spritz this. I'm not going to do it right here on the camera because I don't want water going over my project. So I'm going to go away and do that. But I'm just going to hold it about 10, 15 centimetres away and spritz it with some water. Now, how much water on there is going to be, how much extra water colouring effect will happen. Um, so it's up to you, one or two spritz, but I normally miss it on the first go or get it a little bit and not all of it, and I end up doing a second one. So let's have a go. There we go. So it's all nice and wet and watery. Oh, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but I can see pools of watery ink now all up here. So what I'm going to do is stamp that straight over the top and it goes outside the lines it's not meant to be right inside even when you just ink this one up it doesn't match exactly inside that petal I think it's supposed to be like it goes outside the lines like you're going to actually watercolor it so that's how you end up with it a bit more watercoloring <laughs> technical terms watercoloring anyway okay so I'm gonna clean that stamp off and then do that again for my other flower. And just to be careful while I try and talk and colour at the same time. And I get the right end. And it doesn't really matter if I don't match the ink right up to the inks with this technique because that water is going to pull it together and make it sort of smudgy anyway. So it'll do any gaps for me and then one over that one just like that and I really love how that just all blends in together and just looks like a nice watercolory mess but looking awesome at the same time all right so that's not it for that actually but I'm going to let that dry before I do the last little thing on it so I'm going to put that over to the side and get out my larger piece of white and oh, going to use lemon lime twist with the leaf. Oh, my stamp's a bit dirty. Some lint on there. All right. So I'm going to ink that up and I'm going to put four of these around. So I started with this one, not quite to the edge here. But more towards this way and just follow it around and then these ones over here I'm going to have quite towards the edge so my card's going to be more towards the right so just like that and I don't really care about here because I'm going to cover that up just here so it doesn't really matter what happens now I'll leave that open now there are sentiments in this set um but i wanted the fonts quite um straight and bold and when i did this card i originally was going to use one of these sentiments but i decided i wanted a bit more sort of flowy sort of thing going on <laughs> so i grabbed out the um this is the stamp set from the soft sayings card kit so once you've finished with the Soft Sayings card kit, of course you have this awesome stamp set to use. And it's got a lot of great sayings on here and it's kind of in different fonts. So um, I used the Love You Lots, which is in a nice running writing type style, and the Just a Note, which is sort of running writing as well. So um, I grabbed this out um, to use that. So I think I'm going to go with Just a Note. And you can see this stamp is very well loved. So don't be worried if your photopolymer stamps get like this. They will stamp beautifully just as they are. You can clean them. Um, I clean them under 
baths under some warm water and even some um, like hand soap, detergent sort of thing, can get on here as long as you get that all off. Um, but mine stain generally because I don't give them that good clean straight after use. They just sit on my desk. And I'm okay with that because I can still see through this and it's just a bit messy, that's all. But I've used this one a lot, like a lot, a lot. And that's why it is pretty um, feral looking. <laughs> But um, you can feel that it's still really good and it's fine. So things that um, have got pink, inks that have got pink in them, so the purples and the pinks, the reds, they will stain. See how the Sphinx is pink now? Um, there's nothing much you can do about that. Um, the pinks in those inks really will stain, especially if you've got like a dark purple or something like that. Um, but it doesn't do anything to the actual stamps, which is great. It's not going to wreck them or make them deteriorate or anything. Okay, so I've got my memento out again. Memento out again. And I'm going to put that sentiment over on the left over here. And then I'm going to get this one back again. So hopefully that's dried a bit now. And I'm going to use those little dotty things that come with this set and using that lemon lime twist again I'm just going to dot them around so what I normally do with stamps like this so it's not a symmetrical stamp um, so when you change it around it's going to be different and when I'm going to stamp it a bunch of times over here I'm not going to hold it exactly the same way and stamp 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 because you'll end up with that same um, pattern all over it and sometimes you actually want that which is fine but I just want this to be looking random and dotty so I can either turn the paper around as I stamp in different spots or turn the stamp around as you stamp so just be mindful when you have a stamp sort of like that ah! that's all right didn't get it um, that I like to switch it around as I go and then you'll end up so that it doesn't look the same. Oh, that's very bright, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't look the same every time you stamp it. It does look a little bit different. So that's just a little bit to put in the background. Now I did, oh, where did I do that? My lemon lime twist marker to colour in the stems. Oh, what happened to it? That's not it. Yes, it is. Okay. I just grabbed out this one. Oh, marker end. And that's just going to give a little bit of green on there. Just like that. Okay. Put my ink away before I get it everywhere. Right, now I can assemble that. So I've already scored my card in half. Alright, flatten that out. And what have I got? Some tape, that'll do. Did them all with Tombows the other day, but I don't know where my Tombow's gone now. It's hiding on my desk somewhere. I've done a lot of crafting in the last week or so. And my room, Oof, there is stuff everywhere. So I really should be cleaning my room. <laughs> I think I've said that quite a lot here on Facebook. I need to clean my room. But um, I really do need to clean it at the moment. <laughs> uh, there is stuff everywhere. So I need to get organised. A lot of things coming up. Okay, so that one on top of there. And then I had some dimensionals. So a few dimensionals going on. Now, I still cut my dimensionals in half, even though I have the smaller dimensionals now. It's just kind of habit, cutting them in half. So that's okay. Okay, take these backs off. 
Alrighty, and then I'm going to place this just over the leaves here and hide all the bottoms of those leaves so you can't see where that mess went on. And that's my card. Super sweet and pretty simple to do, but quite effective getting this nice watercolour effect all over the flowers is really pretty. I just love the leaves in the background. So, yeah. So this set, is still sticking around uh, next year. Now there's um, framelits that match this set as well and it cuts out all the flowers and the leaves um, and it's got some extra patterny pieces as well. Now they'll stick around as well however the bundle for the two products together where you get 10% discount will no longer be around after May 31st. So if this has been on your wish list, then make sure to grab it before May 31st and you'll save yourself 10% of that. Okay. All right. So that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed that and I hope you like the card and I'll see you around next time.